In addition to resolving the issues that we spoke about the other day, we also went ahead and updated uh, the core WordPress files and also updated and uh, updated some plugins and installed some new plugins for the system. Uh, we did go ahead and fix the issue of the pricing showing up inconsistently. You will need to go ahead and put in commas inside the pricing now. We went ahead and went through all the properties and ensured that there are already commas in the prices now and put commas where there weren't any. But just remember when you do put in uh, properties now, go ahead and put commas in there and they will be reflected correctly up here now instead of uh, having the issue we were having before where it was getting cut off. So um, in addition to that, we have also resolved the video issue. It wasn't really anything that required resolution. Um, it's a kind of a little coding thing. We really, unfortunately, can't do anything about it. Um, right here, for this to get triggered, the slideshow to get triggered, there must be two images available for it to get triggered. It's It won't actually get triggered off this video embed code. It will include the video inside of the slideshow, but it must at least have two images to trigger the slideshow. So we've put a placeholder image in here right now to show you that it, it does function. So And what you'll want to do is just go into the media library and delete that, that image, and then it'll go ahead and, and, and delete out of here. Um, and then just replace it with any, you know, just put any other image in there at all. It, it doesn't matter whatever image for the property that you have. Uh, there's no size requirements or anything. But um, you will need to have two images in there but if you do embed a video um, and you do want the slideshow to come up. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the dashboard. You'll notice things look really, really different. And this isn't really a change in functionality. It's just really a change in the way WordPress looks. Um, the functionality of WordPress from the WordPress that you're using now to the new WordPress 3.8 is the same. Nothing's changed. What you'll see, though, is the colors changed and the interface is now uh, things are much more kind of consistently colored in the fact that you've got black and gray and everything's kind of a little bit darker a little bit a little bit it looks really really different when you come into the administrative interface but it's not the functionality is the same as you go through these shortcuts you're going to see that all of the functionality that you had before is exactly there in the same place it's just the look and feel this new look and feel is designed so that people can do administration on iPads and other type of touch devices so it's a mobile friendly interface is what it is but the functionality is exactly the same so um, just want to also wanted to go over the plugins that we added and we went ahead and added uh, SEO Ultimate plugin to do things like rewrite title tags and put in open graph descriptions and stuff. That will uh, help with SEO. It's already it's already configured. Everything's in there. You don't have to worry about it. And it it uh, you uh, will update it. Uh, we always go in and, and update the plugins. But um, this is a maintenance free plugin. There's nothing that you have to do to it. In addition, there's a, a couple of other plugins: Google XML sitemaps and Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress. I'll go over this in a minute. The Google XML sitemaps is another maintenance free plugin you don't have to do anything with that at all what it does is anytime there's a change on your site it automatically generates a site map and then informs Google and Bing that they need to recrawl your site and when they inform Google and Bing it also in turn informs ask.com and Yahoo and tells them all that they need to recrawl your site because there have been changes on your site don't have to do anything it'll just do it in the background automatically generate it and then submit it to them and let them know to recrawl the site this is Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress um, go ahead and go back to the dashboard and you will see this right here as you get data that comes in and you get visitors that come in um, because we just installed this today you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff down here you're going to get a map that's going to show you where the visitors come from below that you're going to get the most popular pages and below that you're going to get the most popular search terms that brought people to your site as well as a, an overview right here of the amount of people that viewed page views pages for vi uh, per visit if they came from organic search which is going to be uh, if they came from Google or Bing um, how many visitors Visitors, how many visits this is going to be unique visitors this is going to be unique visits if people came and visited your site more than once they're only going to show up as one visitor but it'll show up as unique visits bounce rate this is people that come into your site they're there for like two seconds ago uh, I'm out of here and leave and that will show you how the percentage of people that come to your site and then immediately leave without browsing any other pages or staying for any significant amount of time this is uh, this is pulling the information from Google Analytics what it does though is it kind of Google Analytics has a rather unpleasant interface unfortunately and 
it, uh, it can be difficult to, to use. This interface pulls that information in and puts it in a really, really nice, concise, easy to use format so you can take a look and, and understand the data and, and get some value out of it. So anyhow, um, if you have any questions or need any explanations on any features, just let us know. Thanks.